The 1903 Tour de France was the first Tour de France, a cycling race set up and sponsored by the newspaper Lotto, ancestor of the current daily, L.A. Permil Cup. It ran from 1 to July 19 in six stages over 2,428 km, and was won by Maurice Garin. The race was invented to boost the circulation of Lotto, after its circulation started to plummet from competition with a long-standing Lavar copyright low. Originally scheduled to start in June, the race was postponed one month, and the prize money was increased, after a disappointing level of applications from competitors. The 1903 Tour de France was the first stage road race, and compared to modern Grand Tours, it had relatively few stages, but each was much longer than those raced today. The cyclists did not have to compete in all six stages, although this was necessary to qualify for the general classification. The pre-race favorite, Maurice Garin, won the first stage, and retained the lead throughout. He also won the last two stages, and had a margin of almost three hours over the next cyclist. The circulation of Lotto increased more than sixfold during and after the race, so the race was considered successful enough to be rerun in 1904, by which time Le Bar copyright law had been forced out of business. Origin After the Dreyfus affair separated advertisers from the newspaper Le Bar copyright law, a new newspaper Lotto Var copyright law was founded in 1900, with former cyclist Henri de Scrange as editor. After being forced to change the name of the newspaper to Lotto in 1903, De Scrange needed something to keep the cycling fans. With circulation at 20,000, he could not afford to lose them. When De Scrange and young employee Gar copyright O. Lefevre were returning from the Marseille Euro Paris cycling race, Lefevre suggested holding a race around France, similar to the popular six day races on the track. De Scrange proposed the idea to the financial controller Victor Goddard, who gave his approval and on January 19, 1903, the Tour de France was announced in Lotto. It was to have been a five-week race, from June 1 to July 5, with an entry fee of 20 francs. These conditions attracted very few cyclists, one week before the race was due to start, only 15 competitors had signed up. De Scrange then rescheduled the race from 1 to July 19, increased the total prize money to 20,000 francs, reduced the entry fee to 10 francs and guaranteed at least 5 francs a day to the first 50 cyclists in the classification. After that, 79 cyclists signed up for the race, of whom 60 actually started the race. Gar copyright Olifa copyright for became the director, judge and timekeeper. Henri de Scrange was the director Gar copyright Nar copyright Raoul, although he did not follow the race. Rules and Course the 1903 Tour de France was run in six stages. Compared to modern stage races, the stages were extraordinarily long, with an average distance of over 400 km, compared to the 171 km average stage length in the 2004 Tour de France. Cyclists had one to three rest days between each stage, and the route was largely flat, with only one stage featuring a significant mountain. The cyclists were not grouped in teams but raced as individuals, and paid a fee of 10 francs to compete in the race for general classification, or 5 francs to enter a single stage. Because the stages were so long, all but the first started before dawn, the last stage started at 21 o'clock the night before. The first Tour de France crossed no mountain passes, but several lesser cols. The first was the Col des Charmières, on the opening stage from Paris to Lyon, on what is now the old road from Autun to Lyon. The stage from Lyon to Marseille included the Col de la Ra copyright publique, also known as the Col du Grand Bois, at the edge of Street Etienne. In 1903, it was normal for a professional cyclist to hire pacers, who would lead them during the race. De Scrange forbade this, it was originally intended that in the final, longest, stage pacers would be allowed, but this was rescinded after the fifth stage. To ensure that the cyclists rode the entire route, stewards were stationed at various points around the course. The yellow jersey for the leader in the general classification had not yet been introduced, but the leader was identified by a green armband. The fastest date cyclists on each stage received a prize between 50 francs and 1,500 francs, varying per stage. 
the 14 best cyclists in the general classification received a prize from 3,000 francs for the winner to 25 francs for 14th place. The remaining seven cyclists to finish in the general classification each received 95 francs, 5 francs for each of the 19 days that the race took, provided that they had not won more than 200 francs in prize money and did not have an average speed below 20 a km per hour on any stage. Participants, in contrast to modern stage races, a cyclist who gave up during a stage was allowed to start again the next stage, although he would no longer be in contention for the general classification. Thus Hippolyte or Couturier, who gave up during the first stage, was able to return, and won the second and third stages. Charles Lazar, winner of the fourth stage, had not completed the third stage. Sixty cyclists, all professionals or semi-professionals, started the race, of whom 49 were French, 4 Belgian, 4 Swiss, 2 German, and 1 Italian. 21 of them were sponsored by bicycle manufacturers while 39 entered without commercial support. 24 other cyclists took advantage of the opportunity to enter specific stages, one road in both the second and fourth stages, and additionally three cyclists took part in the second stage, one in the third stage, 15 in the fourth stage only, and a further four only competed in the fifth stage. Race Details The pre-race favorites for the victory were Morris Garin and Hippolyte or Couturier. Garin dominated the race from the start by winning the first stage, a 471 km Parkers from Paris to Lyon. The stage started at 1516, and the cyclists initially rode with a speed of 35 km per hour. The first cyclists abandoned after around 50 km. At 23 o'clock, Garin and Emile Pagey, leading the race, reached the control point in Nevers. Garin expected at that point that they would finish at 8 o'clock the next morning. During the night, Garin's main rival, or Couturier, had stomach cramps, and was unable to finish the stage. Also during that first stage, the first breach of the rules occurred, Jean Fisher had used a car as Pazer, which was illegal. Pagey fell down, but got up again. He and Garin kept leading the race during the night. Around 9.00 in the morning, both reached Lyon. Garin got away from Pagey, and finished one minute ahead. Although Orcoturia had abandoned in the first stage, and so was not eligible for the general classification, he could still start the rest of the stages. In the second stage, Orcoturia was able to win the sprint. In the third stage, the cyclists who were competing for the general classification started one hour earlier than the other cyclists, including Orcoturia. At the end of that stage, a group of four cyclists had broken away, and Eugenie Brange won the sprint. Orcoturia finished 27 minutes later, but this meant that he had run the course 33 minutes faster, so he was declared the winner of the stage. Garin retained the lead, helped by a crash of second-placed Pagey in the second stage, which eliminated him from the race. In the fourth stage, Orcoturia had a clear lead and seemed set to win a third successive stage, but was caught using the slipstream of a car, and was removed from the race. Swiss Charles Lanza took the victory, becoming the first non-French winner. As in the third stage, the cyclists departed in two groups, and Lanza was in the second group because he was no longer contending for the general classification. Lanza finished more than 50 minutes after a group of six cyclists, but he had travelled the distance four minutes faster than them, so he was declared the winner. At that point, Garin was leading, with Emile Georgette almost two hours behind. In the fifth stage, Georgette had two flat tyres, and fell asleep when he stopped at the side of the road to rest. He failed to finish. Thus Garin extended his lead by winning this stage, carrying nearly three hours' advantage into the final day's racing. Garin had requested other cyclists in the leading group to let him win the stage, but Fernand Orgero refused to do this. Garin then had Lucien Pothier throwing his bicycle at Orgero, who then fell down. Garin, Pothier and Pasquia then continued without Pothier to the finish, where Garin easily won the sprint. Orgero still received a prize of 100 francs from Velosport Nantes for the fastest final kilometre of the stage in the Nantes Velodrome. The last stage was the longest, at 471 km, 
and ran from Nantes to the velodrome in Paris, where 20,000 spectators saw Garin's third stage win, as he sealed overall victory by 2 hours 59 minutes 31 seconds, this remains the greatest margin of victory in the Tour de France. Results Stage results, in 1903, there was no distinction in the rules between plain stages and mountain stages. The icons shown here indicate whether the stage included mountains. General classification, there were 21 cyclists who had completed all six stages. For these cyclists, the times taken for each stage were added up for the general classification. The cyclist with the least accumulated time was the winner. Aftermath the circulation of Lotto increased significantly due to this event. A special edition of 130,000 copies was made after the race was over, and normal circulation increased from 25,000 to 65,000. The big success made sure that the Tour de France was scheduled again for 1904. The cyclists had also become national heroes. Maurice Garin returned for the 1904 Tour de France but his title defense failed when he was disqualified. With the prize money that he won in 1903, which totaled 6,075 francs, Garin later bought a gas station, where he worked for the rest of his life. Notes and References Bibliography, Facinetti, Paolo. Tour de France 1903, La Nassita della Grande Buckle. Ediciclo Editor. ISBN A88-85318-88-6. Retrieved December 29, 2009 A.